three hours of ride so let's see how it will be this three hours journey I hope everything goes well wish me good luck and then if everything goes well three hours I will be in Munich I hope it doesn't get dark and rain that's what I'm, I'm looking for for the first traffic lights and I, then I go here we go Here we go, leaving Nuremberg right now. The weather is good. According to the GPS, everything goes well. Three hours I will be in Munich. So that's my second time to ride to Munich like this. Uh, now without GPS, so that's some challenge because uh, last time I used my camera and it broken. Uh, so my iPhone camera and now I'm basically just going and chilling. I just put air in the wheels, uh, full tank. And now, here we go! So, a tunnel ahead. I'm just feeling like uh, how good it is to ride this motorbike, you know, like... Uh, especially with good roads, in, as here in Germany. Just countryside. If I take the same way from the autobahn, it will take me uh, one hour and a half. But if I go to the countryside, it takes me three hours. But it's fine. Last time I drive, I met one guy that also has a SR500, and I think we drove. Well, I drove with him until this city here, and uh, not city, right? Just a village. And then he drove to Munich, so now is my time to go to Munich. Yes, and uh, luckily today the weather is good, so that uh, and it's, uh, it's national holiday also. Today is like uh, Eastern, so it's Friday, and Monday will also be a holiday. Look how beautiful this road! It's incredible. That's why I like Germany. You know, like you have so many ride options especially in the countryside Allenberg markets in front is just like a, a horse truck, sport fed. Probably that is a horse inside, and uh, just follow it, you know. Like town called Hoch. Uh -huh. That's always here, always a church in the center of the city of the town. And uh, yeah, it's just like a really small village. Look at that. Woo! Uh, to be honest, this SR500 is a really good bike. You know, I'm getting used to that. Start to love it. It's just need to get used. You know, after that, you will start to love it. Good motor, built by my friend Harry. Ew. Last time we stopped in that church, I will stop there now because it's really beautiful, and I will show you. Maybe put some wide lens in this camera. I didn't do any configuration settings and stuff, but I will stop there. You guys can see the church already. I'm almost there to the church. Got some photos here and then keep moving. So far 35 kilometers, not that much, but it's good to stop and stretch a little bit. Let's have a look there. 
is a very authentic shape. You have 16% uh, of battery. Take a photo of that. Just stop here in this beautiful church. On the way to get stretched a little bit. I did only 35 kilometers. Now I'll drive a little bit more. The main idea was to stop. Uh, take some photos inside and uh, yeah it was nice just stop quickly stop here but motorbikes working pretty well no problem so far I still have almost 200 kilometers and then uh, so let's jump and keep riding so I think <laughs> good so stomach full stuff of Google that you can place that like I just want to go from the countryside and they send you by those roads you know but this is kind of fast road compared with the ones that I was just like some minutes ago this is a very beautiful old town called Pershing uh, I won't go inside today but uh, just showing you a little bit from outside it's a really really beautiful I remember some some Last year, I came here and they, they I fly a drone nearby, and that was like, I was like wow, that's the the village just there, perishing. This town here is really beautiful. They have like some brewery. Oh, there's a zoom, 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 something, a, a bar. There's this castle here as well on my right, as you can see. It's, it's pretty authentic. I love the design of that. And uh, yeah, we're in the direction of Landshut, so it should be correct. Finally, a little bit of light. It's good because I'm not so warm. It's like last time we checked the temperature was six degrees, and now with sun it can be a little bit warmer. Just stop here in the gas station to get some water. Stretch a little bit. So far, eight eight kilometers. It's alright. Enough. Yeah, yeah. Ah. So 
such good exercise. Just stop in this gas station to get some food, some water, and now it's time to get back. Uh, the journey is being it's pretty nice. Uh, good weather, that's the most important. So far, 88 kilometers, and then soon I will be in Munich. But anyway, let's keep riding and uh, just stomach full, water, and Red Bull, and yeah. This time of the day is one of the most beautiful light, you know, like at 5 o'clock, 6 end of the day it's like uh, the colors are kind of so beautiful that the ride com completely changed the, the style you know when it's like mid of the day like uh, the lights and the shadows are so harsh that is also okay but nothing like the beginning of the day and the end of the day pretty famous producer of beer and then you're asking yourself what are this is for grapes or what this is like his hops uh, plantation so that's on summer the the hops will go on those sticks here on those poles and then they produce the the hops that are used on the Germany beers you know it's I wouldn't be Nuremberg to be honest. I like Munich, but Nuremberg was a very good good time, you know. Uh, I don't like too much of my old apartment there, but the city itself was pretty pretty cool. Get on the train here in Germany. That's the same train that I got to go to Nuremberg. RE1 is going to be to Munich uh, Hauptbahn Hof or well, Munich train station. Traffic, traffic lights. Ooh, 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 almost there. Ooh. End of the day, sun, sunset. Munich, so I made on the right time. I was only afraid that uh, to, to, to ride uh, at night, you know, I don't like. Uh, but I managed to arrive there on with still a little bit of uh, light. I still have 31 minutes before I arrive home. It was a pretty long journey. 171, that's the... Oh. <laughs> the distance and it's getting dark now if it's getting dark let's try how is the low light of the GoPro if it's good or not but I'm already in Munich and uh, yeah that's a little bit of the not the city center but I mean the city of Munich yeah, outside continue for three kilometers just need to ride three kilometers here <laughs> I'm pretty curious to see how is the low light for this uh, GoPro 9. Woo! Inside of a tunnel. I think this should be longer. But anyway, it's always good to be inside of a tunnel, at least for me. Finally arriving home after 191 kilometers or 192 and I'm here at the Feischenstrasse where I live here in Munich. 200 kilometers, I'm back here. So I hope you guys like this journey. For me it was pretty exciting. I want to edit this video and see how was the result. But anyway, see you everybody. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace and love and boom!